dear patients and dear colleagues, the International Implant Foundation has decided to create this website about an increasingly important disease. This disease leads to inflammations which form around dental implants. It is called periimplantit or periimplantitis. This disease is characterized by the vertical bone loss along the dental implant. Typically, inflammation occurs in combination with this disease. The chronic inflammation affects significantly the quality of life of the patients and it leads then to more bone loss. In recent years, the occurrence of this disease has increased dramatically in the population. The reason is, of course, that more and more patients were treated with dental implants and unfortunately most patients are today still treated with very traditional dental implants, implants which are prone to the development of a periimplantitis. Large congresses in all countries of the world deal every year with the periimplantitis and its devastating consequences. It must be admitted today that there is no cure against periimplantitis. Once it has started, it is not possible to actively stop the disease. In the best case, the disease will stop by itself before the implant falls out. Conventional dentistry is still not willing to give to the patient a full and honest answer to the question why periimplantitis occurs and how it could have been avoided. Because if one would answer the question honestly, then the entire treatment concept in implant dentistry would have to change. Conventional implantologists are still not ready for this. So here is this honest answer. We know today that rough implant surfaces in combination with large implant diameters and the multipart design of dental implants contribute significantly to the development of the disease. All other factors, and patient factors especially, are of secondary importance. In other words, the design of today's predominantly used implants is the cause of the problem. I want to show you this on this model. Conventional dental implant consists out of a bone anchored implant body. The implant has a large diameter and the surface inside the bone is rough. The surface is then inserted into the bone until this line. Unfortunately, the bone shrinks after the insertion of the implants and this means that even under normal circumstances, it means always rough surfaces are going to be exposed to the oral cavity. The rough surface of the implant will be exposed already after six to nine months in the mouth and the inflammation begins. This persistent inflammation and further bone loss often ends up in the loss of the implant. There are, however, implants available which prevent this problem. In these implants we see a different design. The first difference is that the mucosal penetration zone is smooth and very thin. The second difference is that these implants are manufactured including abutment. So the implants are made from one piece. And the third big difference, these implants are fully polished. For these implants it does not matter how much the bone may atrophy or shrink later on, a periimplantitis will never appear. These implants are not only safer, they also allow an improved treatment protocol. They may for example be used immediately after extracting the teeth, and you can also use them in immediate load protocols. Please read more details on this subject and how to avoid and treat perimplantitis on our new website, which goes online now. I will be happy if you contact me with any questions or comments on this issue. Enjoy now surfing on this website, which was made available for you by the International Implant Foundation. And please keep in mind, Periimplantitis should no longer be an issue today because it is known for years in principle how it could be avoided. Thank you very much for your attention.